Hey guys, Kai and Kendra here. She's in the video today. Yeah. Well, we're on our way back to finish that AT&T business that I started yesterday. Hopefully management is there today. Otherwise, Ashley, your day is numbered. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. A threat? Probably not. It's a promise. <laughs> no, it's not one of those either. So, we're going to get going and hopefully get everything done. And you got a job. And I got a job. If I can get everything done. Peace. Back. Had to stop and talk to Grandpa. Which is funny. I hadn't actually met it to the wife. We, everybody called him Chuck. His name's actually Charles. I was, was going to call him Grandpa now. You know who Charles? As in angry Grandpa? Charles? Oh. <laughs> Except this guy not, doesn't get he's angry. He's not angry. He's that usual nice old man. So you got a job? Yeah, I got a job. I am right now trying to get the tech support problem fixed out. Because first I couldn't log in, I couldn't log in, I couldn't log in. <laughs> now I've got this other the account that I'm trying to set up, trying to set up, trying to set up. And now she's going to check to see if I've got email yep. trying to fix it. Well, because it, it vibrates my phone. He said, have you opened the firewall link I sent you? And when I get home from after doing this, then yes, I will try to open that link. At least you're like responding to you, they talk to you, they don't ignore you, and you're just like sitting there. You know, being that you're working from home, you can't just go and knock on the manager's door and be like, hey, dialer's down, I can't work. Yep. All right, we'll be back at you after, uh, we find out what's happened with at &T. Hey guys, Kai here. Vlogging from bed, so no glasses. Not feeling too good. at and thing this morning didn't go as, as planned. Met with the uh, manager in training. I trust him. Trust everybody at the store. Trust him so much I'm going to go apply to, on Friday. I'm just gonna have to wait. They're gonna they're gonna call me when it, the tablet that I want for the one I have to take back comes in, along with the uh, Samsung Gear Two watch. We'll get everything sorted out, taken care of. And this um this job that I was I kindred and pushing me for, towards getting came through yesterday. It was a work from home. Kind of like the one that she has from with company Sunrun that she works for. I used to have that too, but due to my eczema, my uh, manager at the time call him Mr. F Frozen. Harded. Yeah, him and the uh, Homer, uh, Homer manager, Jesus. Uh, HR manager told me how I was rehirable. So, due to my eczema, I, I stopped working. And, you know, they said, hey, you know what, six months later, try to reapply. Well, my eczema cleared up in about two months, so I tried to reapply on the weekly. I finally broke down and called the main company. They're like, yeah, yeah, you're rehirable. I don't know why they're not rehiring you. Yeah, I don't know either. Oh. Now, see, I'm nearsighted, so when I do this, it, it's like, oh, I can barely see myself. And I do this, and then, whoa! I got eyes that look like this big. <laughs> I'm going to upload this and just see the way it looks. Honestly, I feel like crap. So I started doing this like this other job. I will never, for the life of me, probably ever, hang up on someone doing a political research call again. And I'll need this for like probably three hours. It's like the calls are always incoming, never stopping. 
you got enough time to go away. Well, they didn't answer, so next one. But you gotta copy this information while read whilst reading the script, whilst pushing a button, pasting in the number, clicking through the script, past the stuff that you're reading, and hopefully you haven't stopped reading and got to the first question. To read the first question. And the only thing that I could relate to being the same as this is working on a production line and somebody flipped the switch to go from normal to oh my god there has been 500 pieces of product run down the line and I've only seen one item go across but yeah I, I just couldn't hack it so I sent the guy that sent me, you know, by the job an email and said, I just, I, I, I can't keep up. There's, there's no godly way. Do I still get paid for like the two and a half hours that I worked? No replies yet. Probably not going to get a reply. So yeah, Friday, I'm going to go down and apply at AT&T. I really do like the people down there. There are a lot of nice people. Hopefully the upper level management that does hiring will agree that I'm qualified. Hopefully. I got a couple other work from home jobs in the works. I just hope it's not as slam as this. <sighs> I let my phone get discharged, so been on the uh, on the on the on the charger all day, and I finally said it. And I woke up and I was like, I was reading through the twitters. I saw something that I didn't like. So uh, apparently, some somebody way out there in YouTube land um, posted a comment to one of my. Fan, one of my favorites, um, Michael Green, in comment to him about his girlfriend of many years, Bridget West, and told her told him to dump her and use YouTube to find somebody else. You know, I have a response to this dude. Get a life. Obviously, you don't have a girlfriend who is as loyal to have stuck with him this many years and not left herself. Michael, Bridget, I just want to say that, <clears throat> of course, I didn't fo start following you guys and watching until after Kendra and I had got together. And, you know, sometimes I'm thinking, wow, that guy's got anger issues like I've got anger issues. <coughs> and, um... like Kendra, Bridget sticks with you and that's not something you're going to find without her I don't think I could make it to the day to day I, I would sink back into what I was like when I was single I was constantly depressed um, I would not look forward my day to day was sitting around, being bored, talking to people on TeamSpeak. I just recently lost a friend <clears throat> because they seem to think that we, Kendra is Kendra is one of the very possessive kind of people, and I will never fault her for it. I'll never fault her for anything she does because I love her, pure and simple. And just a side note, <coughs> I sit here watching myself, and again, I'm 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 very, very nearsighted. And I can't even see my mouth move at all. I see my mouth open, and that's it. Words and everything come out. It's like a dollar. 
It's like one of those little, uh, what is it, uh, South Park characters, the, the, the Canadians. The mouth goes down, words come out, the mouth goes up when they're done. That's all you really see. I believe in um, Spongebob, it's one of those little meat fish. Meat, 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 meat. That's all I'm seeing right now. <coughs> So yeah, you did a good thing, Mike. Just keep making videos with her. Remember, wish.com, get her a ring. It doesn't have to be, you know, got it at Jared's. Hell. She loves candles, dude. Get her one of the mystery candles. The ring inside. <laughs> Maybe you'll be lucky enough to get one of them, like, $15,000 rings inside. There you go. Mystery solved. Yeah, I got a mat mate. Major headache. So I'm probably, uh... She's probably not going to get her tonight, not be in the vlog, because she's got at least another hour's worth of work. She's the breadwinner in the house, folks. And I will never fault her for anything she does because of that. It's, it's just love. So, with that, you got your three things we need you to do. I know it might seem like a lot of stuff, but it's three things, folks. Number three. Click like. You're seeing me at my worst, folks. And you've seen me at my best. Like. Simple like that. You click the thing and it pops up thumb. Number dose. Hey, I'm ex Air Force, so. Number dose. Click subscribe. Because we like to see who, 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 who's watching. That's that. You know, that's to to us. That's that's how we know who's watching. Everybody can. You know, some random guy. You know, bum passing you on the road. Hey. Oh wait, you want to ride? No. Yeah, that's one of our favorite. That's one of our things. I, I did that to somebody the a uh, couple weeks back, and he's like, "I don't want." <laughs> oh Jesus! I almost stopped at a Pokemon gym, but some um, that was empty. To, at that, this guy was standing there bumming right. I was like, "Oh shh!" If I pull over to grab this Pokemon gym, this guy think I'm going to give him a ride. No, man. Not here for you. Here for the Pokemon gym. And finally, the number one thing to always remember. Follow us wherever we go. Not the stalkerish way. That'll make my unibrow go back and I'll give them a really dirty look. So, we love you guys. Have fun. Stay safe. <laughs>